Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to work with the audio enhancement functions in Final Cut Pro. You will find them all over here in the inspector and if you can't see them make sure that you've got the audio bit selected. So for example if I click the little video thingy it gives me the options or the inspector or the effects that I can put onto the video part of what I'm editing and I want you guys to be on the sound part and that looks like a little um like a little speaker and that's where we want to be when we're editing audio. Now the first thing I want you guys to consider when you're editing audio is to edit with your eyes. Yeah, so what you need are your audio levels and if you can't find them here I need you to come up to where it says window showing workspace audio meters. Can you see that? So it's window showing workspace audio meters. Once you do that you should be able to see your audio meters here and the moment when you start playing a clip you will see the audio bumps up and down, right? So now what you want for your edit is for your audio to bounce between minus 12 and minus six all the time. It can peak a little bit higher or lower if you want something to be louder, for example, an explosion or something softer if it's someone whispering. But in general, conversations in your interviews need to be hover here and they also always need to hover in the green. The moment that it starts to peak or it goes to red, um, you're in trouble because your audio might be corrupted and you need to do some things to compensate. So the interview that I've got here, um, uh, so I think I've learned so many different things from this conference. Um, it's, it's a little bit echoey, it's a little bit noisy, and the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is come over here to it says audio enhancements, and you can use this little magic wand to ask Final Cut to think about how it can automatically improve your sound. You need to have your clip selected, and then click on the little magic wand. See how it's doing some thinking? And on its own decided it needed to do some noise removal on my clip. So let's listen to it again. As you can hear, we can hear Becky a lot clearer and all of the crowds in the background have kind of like disappeared. Now this might not always work. Final Cut doesn't always do a perfect job. But if that doesn't work, obviously you can undo it. And then you can on your own play with the settings. So if you need to make it louder, You can see that it's on a download. And these you can turn on and off by just clicking on the little box, yeah? Or you can say, you know what, I'm going to do my own noise removal and I'm going to take it, instead of 50%, I'm going to take it to 95. Let's see what that sounds like. See, that started to modify her voice a little bit. So it sounds like she's like almost underwater. So I want to make that less. Let's see how it looks. Sounds at 36. That's a little bit better, yeah? And you can also do a little bit of change with frequency or a bit of equalization if you're playing around with music, if that's what your project is about. You can also do some cool things with panning. So panning is whether you hear the sound on your left ear or in your right ear or in both of them at the same time. So I could say, for example, I want Becky to be on... Um, like back to front or left to right or play around with stuff. Think of, for example, Bohemian Rhapsody where you hear some of the voices in that like really operatic part in your left and then one in your right and then one in your left and then everywhere, yeah? But the most important thing to keep in mind is that you can fix audio. Now, bad audio, like horrifically bad audio is unsavable. Yeah, this is just a fine-tuned thing. So if you didn't realize there was a little bit of background noise or there was something else that could make the sound sound, the audio sound better. But once it's Crap, it's crap, you guys. There's not that much we can do about it. Okay, hope that helped.